Yeah. Welcome to Kadoan Django Wednesdays at Lunch Burger, Burger edition. edition. This week, Matthew and I went to Fritalo. We did. Um, many locations around the city of Montreal uh, Park, Laurier, Rachel, St. Catherine Street West, Saint Denis, Ville Ray, others. Too many to name. One in Quebec City. Uh, one in Lyon, France. Wow. One? Just one, I think. Huh. According to their website. I haven't been. I haven't seen it. <laughs> purportedly. Um, Matthew, mm-hmm. before today, had you ever heard of Frites à Yes. I walk by it every now and then. I think I went once. Okay. All right. What yeah. did you get there when you did go to Frites à that one time? Probably not a burger. Nothing memorable. No? Probably not, probably not even fries. Really? Yeah, Where'd I you go? Know. I don't Just get know. a Pepsi? Just pick up a Pepsi? Maybe. Maybe in a hot day. Yeah, all Maybe right. You need a little bit of sugar water. A fountain drink. Yeah. Um... So, Matthew, Fritalor, uh, uh, specializing in Belgian-style fries here in Quebec. Is that is that what the Belgians do? They just they just have really little fry bits? No well, full fries? Well, they weren't thick fries. They were full fries, some of them. They were thinner mm. fly, fries, though. Mm. I mean, some of them were fry bits. All of mine were fry bits. Um, now, Matthew, I feel like this is a fun fact that you'll appreciate. Um, made from your favorite, russet potatoes. Are those your favorite potatoes, Matthew? Uh, yeah, I think russets are. Or are they uh, just they're... a go-to sort of standard potato? Middle. I know I can potato. count on russets, but yeah. Yukon Golds. Yukon Golds, the way to go. Yeah, that's the kind I'm. I, I aim for, but it's very difficult to find the Yukon Golds in uh, uh, supermarkets and what have you. I think you got to go to some more specialized markets, places. the potato, or maybe the I just potato markets. Yeah, or maybe I just don't know. Maybe they sell them at Maxi. <laughs> I don't go to Maxi, so I wouldn't You've been know. going to IGA too long. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. You got to support independent grocers, Sebastian. That's right. That's right. Well, isn't, what does IGA stand for? Isn't it like independent well, grocers of America? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. I don't know if they were of America because I don't think they mm. they have any uh, places in the States. I think it's just association, maybe? Independent, oh, independent grocers, grocers association. association. That works for me. Maybe. I'll take it. Yeah. So uh, today we went to Fritellor, uh to get a burger. Mm. We we also had fries. Uh, when we met up, we went in, sat down, looked at the menu. I was surprised at how many burgers they had on their menu. Different sections of burgers. They had their classic burgers. Mm-hmm. They had their sort of like a deluxe gourmet burgers. Yep. And then they had a section of um, uh, uh, um, uh, no hormones, antibiotic free uh, burgers. As well as some others, some fish, chicken, bison burgers. Yeah. Quite the variety of burgers. I really, for whatever reason, well, I guess it's in their name, always thought of this as a fry shop that might do some other things. But they've yeah. got a lot of burgers on their menu. And only one option for fries. Only one option for fries. The fries. Yeah. The Italian fries. Matthew, um, when you when you see the sign Fritello with that little exclamation mark with a star, what do you think? What do you mean? What, do what, what does it evoke to you in you? Uh, really, not not too much. No, it doesn't doesn't do anything for you. Not really. To me, it makes me think of of Belgian comics, uh, Asterix and Obelix, Tainté, uh, uh, Smurfs, and the like. Those are all uh... all Belgian comics. Comics, the the Belgian maybe not known for their comics, but um, they should be. Because they they've got a lot of big, uh, hugely popular comics. Asterix and Obelix and Tainté, uh, outside of North America, hugely popular. I guess that's why we had a lot of those in uh, our French classes. Yes, because they were well in Belgium. They speak yeah. French. They but don't speak uh, Belgiumese. Did they also make Lucky Luke? Yeah, I believe Lucky Luke is also uh, okay. Also Belgian. Hated all those. Yeah. <laughs> Hated why, why, them. why is that, Matthew? Because the art style, you didn't care for it. The fact that they were in French. Uh, the fact that they were in French, and you couldn't read them as a child. Yeah, well, as a child, I could read them. As an adult, I could not. As I grew mean? older, I could not read them. What do, what do you mean? Your your French your French uh, skills? Yeah, when I have, when I was weakened. When I was uh, before I started kindergarten, mm-hmm. I was more French than English. I don't even believe. You. I watch I watch home videos of myself speaking, and I'm like, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But like, me and my dad are talking in French. In French. I don't and believe you. This uh, Matthew, I've no. known you for most of our lives, and this is the first I hear of this. <laughs> well, because I went to a French daycare, and my really and my father's side of the family is uh, very French. The Jankovics are yeah. French. Yeah, 
Um, this is I. I don't know if you're playing a trick French. on me. Oh, really? I'm serious. And I remember we would go to this uh, the French daycare, and I would only speak French there. Hmm. And when I would be at home, I think it was when my dad was working, and I was not going to daycare anymore. I would speak French with my mom. She would not understand a word I was saying. So she's like, Matthew, when you're here, you have to speak English to me. And I was wow. like, ah, okay, I'll try. And then I would speak English with her. And by the time I got to like grade one, because uh, I think kindergarten, I was still pretty fluent in both languages. By grade one, I was like, I don't know how to speak French anymore. <laughs> this is simply baffling, Matthew. I've never known this about you. And I still don't believe it. And... I feel like I'll also probably forget about it soon. Mm, so maybe you have heard about it. It's quite possible. Because <laughs> it's so unbelievable that it's not worth staying in my mind. <laughs> I'll show you the home video. I'm going to have to see this home video of a little yeah. French Matthew. Yeah. So, okay, so Matthew um, doesn't care for Belgian comics. Now they're always too bright, too. They're always out in the desert. Everybody's always out in the desert, except the Smurfs, but didn't like their French name. Tang Tang goes on different adventures. He's on the moon. He's on the high seas. He's in the desert. He's all over the place. See, though, he's in the desert. Well, it's one of the places to go. Lucky Luke's always in the desert. Well, Asterix yeah, it's and the Oblix, western. It's uh, a western. Desert. Asterix and Oblix, they go different places. Yeah, Rome, ancient Greece, a lot of ancient places. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I was a child and uh, didn't care for it. As a child, I, I was quite fascinated by the desert. Um, <laughs> the vast nothingness yeah. <laughs> really captured your imagination. I, I, I remember I asked for a, a desert birthday cake when I was maybe five, and I had little uh, little cactuses on it. Wow! Yeah, was it like a Super Mario themed? Uh, you know, uh, I don't desert? think it was. I think Super Mario is why I was fascinated by those deserts. Um, those so the you worst get levels. Super Mario World Two. You get to the desert. That's that's a whole world I hated with cactuses. Those worlds. Super Mario World 3, Second World, Cactuses, Desert. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about uh, the deserts and like uh, the American Southwest that have always fascinated me. Hmm. The mirages. Oh, not the lizards and spiders and poisonous things. No. Scorpions, just the mirages. <laughs> the cactuses that. are pretty neat, too. Yeah. What are those about? It's so weird. They retain water. Yeah, I know, but like, think of a tree and then think of a cactus. I think it's like a melon of a tree. Melon of a tree? Like it's just a big like yeah. sh- hard shell water thing. And it doesn't want anybody getting into it, so it protects itself. Yeah. Spikes. Yeah. Weird, huh? Yeah. Compared to a tree. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, cactuses are weird. There's no <laughs> denying that. That's uh So that's So sure. Matthew, um uh this past week I went to the Barbie Expo. Oh, why? Why would you do that? Um, <laughs> I was supposed to go somewhere else, but the time was running out, and so I was like, "Oh, let's go in here. Let's let's see what they got here in the Barbie Expo." I guess it was free, right? Spo- yes, it was. Okay. Spoiler alert: They have Barbies, hundreds of them. <laughs> um, they're not very well labeled. So was it just like a garage sale bin of Barbies, and you just no, no, no? Them? They were all on display, in nice glass cases, and there were little. There was like a little label for each of them that was saying, like, you know, this is like. Sun Barbie beside Moon Barbie. It's like, what the hell does that mean? What's a Sun Barbie? You know, she wore like a very sparkly golden dress with a big like metal piece that was evocative of the sun. Okay. Um, And I just wish I could like have the years or some other information about these Barbies. So it's just the label of what kind of Barbie it was. And that's it. There was a whole, like, international section, but that section I wish was just labeled, like, International Barbies, because it was like, okay, this is a Chinese Barbie, and she's wearing, like, a, you know, like, a big pointed hat, and this is, like, a, a <laughs> Were British... her eyes any different? Yeah, for the different ethnicities, they had different face sculpts. Okay. Um, that were usually not that different than the regular Barbie. Yeah. Except for all the, uh, the, the African and, uh, Caribbean... Uh, Barbies had very impressive face sculpts. Like they were the best, the most time and effort was put into those, or it would seem like the most time and effort was put into those face sculpts. So they were very, very well done. Huh. Um, but uh, yeah, you'd have like, you know, um, different ethnic garbs, maybe not ethnic so much as like stereotypical. Yeah. So like, you know, 
this is Mexico Barbie. She's got a freaking poncho on, you know. A bag of oranges. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> well, I thought it was stereotypical. There's like, a, can, okay, yeah, I guess. All right. Um, there's Canadian Barbie. She's like dressed up as a Mountie. There was uh, um, British Barbie, and she's like, uh, um, she's got like a trench coat and a little hat. Um, That's British Barbie? Yeah. It was. Well, think of like a London trench coat. You know, foggy, foggy London. I would have just assumed she'd be dressed up like a, like a, like a Bobby. Yeah, or like a, a guard, like one of the Queen's guards. Or yeah, something. yeah. There was another one that was dressed up as the as Big Ben. Oh, it's really weird dress. Yeah, had a functioning clock. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> but then there was a section of like celebrity style Barbies. So there was like, here's a, or like maybe not. Well, it was weird. There was it was like. There's a James Dean Barbie, or I guess Ken. Um, well, besides, it was like, a transgendered. Uh, <laughs> no, no, he was a Ken. A, so there were Kens. There were a few Kens, but they were never apparently Ken. They were always someone else. There was a James oh. Bond style Ken. Okay. There was a Elvis style Ken, a James Dean style Ken, and then around them you'll have like you know funky mod style Barbie, or like swinging sixties Barbie. You really, uh, you looked at all of these exhibits. I were looked you the, at every oh, single Barbie. Were you the my only eyes. adult in this place? I want to know. No, what no, kind no. Of I feel like there were mostly adults there with very few children. Did they, they kick up a much, as much of a stink as you did? Were you kind of yelling out for more explanations on these Barbies? Well, I wasn't yelling out. I was just disappointed. Oh. I mean, there were some other really weird Barbies. There was a zombie Barbie. There was, um, mm. uh, um, what do you call that? A centaur Barbie. That was a weird one. Just had a horse's body and a Barbie's top. <laughs> was even couldn't even be repositioned. It was just like here's a horse body. Boom, yeah. we stuck a Barbie on it. Some really weird just ones. Some weird there. like kids uh, creations. I feel like most of the and like some of them were like very specific branded Barbies. Like here's a Ferrari Barbie. Yeah. Here's a Pepsi Barbie. Here's a Dr Pepper Barbie. It's like why 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 these brandings. Oreo Barbie, like wow! Oreo percent. Barbie, yeah. yeah, I remember Oreo Barbie. Yeah, everyone, everyone remembers Oreo Barbie. Yeah. Now these weren't in their boxes anymore. No, these were not mint condition Barbies. They looked pretty mint condition. Well, you take them out of their box, but they were under them. glass. Okay. So there was a whole uh, Wizard of Oz set where there was the lion and the scarecrow and the Tin Man. They looked dead on. They looked. They did a great job with those, especially they, the lion. And then were the they Barbie three Kens. No, they were different. They like they looked like the actors. Huh. Um, and then you had the Barbie for uh, Dorothy, who just looked like Barbie dressed yeah. up as Dorothy. It's yeah. weird. Like whenever it's a a girl, they basically just go, "Well, we're using Barbie. We're putting different clothes on her." Whenever it's a man, it's like, "Well, we have to get this face sculpt right." Hmm. It's weird. I always assumed there was one Barbie and one Ken, and they would just go to a lot of dress up parties. Be like, oh, well, let's be a Pocahontas Barbie. I'll wear a Pocahontas costume. You don't remember the commercials? There were other Barbies. Barbie had friends. She had like, uh, but Cindy they're all named and... Barbie. No, no, they're, they they've got different names. She's got like a black friend and a red headed friend, and uh, there's another Ken friend. Huh. I remember. I remember I'm... in the early two thousands. <laughs> You're much more versed in this Barbie universe than um, in the I early two thousands. There was a press release that came out <laughs> that said there was an announcement. Okay. That Barbie and Ken were breaking up. Jesus. They're dolls. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Why? Like, what are we accomplishing by breaking up Ken and Barbie? Maybe just that they wanted to show that Barbie didn't need no man? Maybe. I guess. Maybe Ken just wanted to play the field. That's I don't know true. whose decision it was. Did they say if it was mutual or if it was a company recall. decision? I yeah, I feel like it was Mattel's decision. Wow. They're just... Uh... If it is, I believe it's Mattel that do Barbie. No. Wow. So it's just weird. Like if you know, can nothing lasts in this life, man. <laughs> nothing lasts. I mean, if Barbie and Ken yeah. can't make it, who stands a chance in this crazy mix-up world? I mean, Ken was perfect. Pretty much, he had a dream house, didn't he? A they, convert, yeah. a pink convertible. I mean, the fact that it was a dream house right? leads you to believe that it was everything they could have ever dreamed for. Uh, it was missing the one 